Good afternoon, everyone. I know uh, we've had a, a couple of hours, and it's quite intense going through the detail of social media. Um, my session is due to last for 20 minutes. I've set my timer, so hopefully we can get through it in that time. I will try and speak clearly, and I will try and keep to the details of exactly how past the mic will work, because I know that's why everyone wants to, what everyone wants to hear. I will explain what it is, but I will focus on how will it work. Okay. So, past the mic has been designed to amplify the social media that's created in the global rebellion that's going to take place between the 5th and the 13th of June. Most people on this call will be doing their actions on the 5th of June. So that's obviously a key date. And a key date that goes with that, that we will talk about is the 6th of June. And 6th of June is when we anticipate that social media will be shared from the global south to the global north and I will explain the mechanism for how that will work. But I first, first should say I know that everyone has a different level of experience in social media. I will need to make some assumptions and I will need to go back to the simplest types of social media to explain what I'm talking about. If you have any questions, please post them into the chat. We are collecting them and we will answer them. The presentation, as has been said before, will be made available to everyone. So pass the mic is quite simple. It's about how do we share the social media posts from the groups that are taking part in Pass the Mic to two places. The main place is what we're calling partner groups. And this is where we have matched one group in the Global South, the global groups, with the Global North. So that's a partner group, it's a one-to-one -one relationship. We're also using the same process so that you can share your social media with XR's global <laughs> social media team so they can take, a, take what they think will work globally and post them on XR's global Facebook, global Twitter and global Instagram. So how will this work? I've created here a very simple Instagram post and I'll use Instagram to demonstrate how this will work. It's a very similar process for Facebook and Twitter. I will also make the assumption that the way the post will be shared is over WhatsApp. That's, the, that's what we're trying to standardise on, but we do realise that some groups have asked to not use WhatsApp. I'm talking to our friends in South America when we say that we will standardise on Telegram for South America and WhatsApp for Africa and Asia. Over the next two, two days, you'll be coached on how to take great photographs and videos. You can see a photograph here of my dog. It's not a great photograph. You will create better photographs, I know. You'll be coached on how to create a story. And you can see that my story isn't very long. It says, Dora, my dog, doesn't want us to go out. You will create better stories, I know. We'll talk about how to create links. And in Instagram, a link, if you like, is a hashtag. You can see it in the picture here. I've put hashtag dog life 
hashtag docs. Very simple, but you will use better ones. And we'll talk about the hashtags in this presentation. It's the hashtags and the links that will allow people to find your social media. So as I say, I'm using WhatsApp as the example, but some groups will be using Telegram. We will do two things. Firstly, we will create a WhatsApp group called XR Global Social Media, and you'll be added to that. That group, everyone will be added to. Everyone who's involved in, post, in Pass the Mic will be added to XR Global Social Media. You'll be added to a group, a partner group, and that's just your group and your partner group in the Global North. The idea is that you will copy the link from your social media platform. In this example, I'm using Instagram. And you can see that I have highlighted copy link. It's as simple as that. And would like you to, what we'd like you to do is to copy the link into both of the WhatsApp groups. This is all people need to repost. So once you've created your post on your, in your social media, if you copy the link to that post into the two WhatsApp groups, that's all you need to do. However, sometimes it will be important for the people that you are sharing with to have your original content. And when I say content, we mean a photograph or a video. So sometimes we will need your original video, your original photograph. What we ask you to do is to post that video or photograph. In this case, I'm, I'm using an example of, my, of the video I created of my dog. And all we want you to do is to text, is to paste into the, the um, post, the message in WhatsApp, a link to the social media post. It's the matching social media post. If you can see the picture in the diagram. The next case, is if you want to share your original content, but would like to change the text. In this case, post the original content into both WhatsApp groups, but instead of, of copying in the original social media uh, post, type in the text that you wish to use and the hashtags that you wish to use. As you see in this example, I've not used the original social media post. I've typed, my name is Dora. I am trying to stop the people I love from going out of the house. I might feel lonely. And I've used different hashtags. The next slide talks about hashtags. This is really important. This is how people around the world will find your posts. Now, I need to remind myself here, so I think it's good that you remind yourselves that the hashtags that we want to use are hash G7. Always use hash G7. And then always use the social media hashtag for the slogan, for the, one of the five slogans that we're using for this camp G7 campaign. So the five are listed on your screen. We are watching you. Honor your environmental debts. 
stop killing us. Your greed or death, protect our earth defenders. There's also on the screen a link to a list of tags and hashtags that other people have found to be useful. And you might want to have a look at that. So to remind ourselves, I'm using the example of WhatsApp as the messaging system. There are two WhatsApp groups. One is your partner group, and one is the G7 Global Social Media Group. The partner group is just for you, your group taking part, and the group in the Global North that's been paired with you. You will get instructions and a welcome letter. But don't forget to also post into the G7 Global Social Media and that's everyone, everyone will be in that group. So a bit of a checklist. Do we have your social media accounts? Do we have your Facebook account, your Instagram account and your Twitter account? This helps because all the Global North groups have all three, a Facebook account, an Instagram account and a Twitter account. And you'll, you will lose out on your engagement if you haven't, if you aren't, if you don't have these three social media accounts and you aren't able to post into all three. I know that everyone taking part so far, we do have the external coordinator name, their mobile number, email address if we have it, or Telegram handle if we're using Telegram. But please let us know if these change. Tell us if you are unable to use WhatsApp. As I said, we're trying to standardize on WhatsApp and it is the plan to use WhatsApp for Africa and Asia. But we will be using Telegram for South America. So you may have more questions. Please add them to the training Zoom chat. Send them to me or through your usual contacts who will get them to me. So to recap on what's happening next, your nominated contact for each social media account uh, will be added to two WhatsApp groups. The partner group, the name will be unique to your partner grouping, but it will be obvious to you. The aim is to set that up on Sunday morning, so that's Sunday the 30th of May. So everyone who has already signed up for past the mic will be added to a new group on your WhatsApp. Look out for it. By Tuesday of next week, everyone will be added to the G7 Global Social Media Group. But please, only post your social media links and content into the G7 Glo Global Social Media Group. Use other, other messaging uh, links and channels to ask questions. Just post your social media links and content into the G7 Global Social Media Group. But please, in your partner group, feel free to chat, to say hello, to get to know each other, to work out how exactly you would like to use it. The final thing I'd like to say is, all the global social media accounts, whether they are from the global south, globally, the global north, will be made available. They will be broadcast to the UK rebels who will be encouraged to repost 
from the participating global social media accounts. This is a way to make your posts reach a broader global audience. So that leaves me to say thank you for watching. That is all from me. And to pass over to Kathy, who will host the rest of today, and I know we'll be talking about questions and answers.